In this video, we're going to have a look at using NZ Grapher for drawing bar graphs. So the first thing we need to do is we need to change the graph type here to a bar graph. The category is the only variable that's required, and this is what forms the bars. So if I change this to species, for example, we get a bar here for each of the species. As I hover over each of them, it tells me how many Kiwis are in each bar. The split allows me to split it into multiple different bar graphs. So if I choose gender, I get a row up the top here for my females and a row for my males. I'm gonna turn that off for now. The other thing I can do is I can color by, so if I color by the gender, it splits each of the bars into males and females. If I tick the summaries tick box, it adds the numbers inside each box so I can see how many Kiwis are in each category. If I choose the allow more categories, it allows us to have more bars than what we would have by default. Grid lines draws horizontal grid lines across the graph. 100% bar graph makes all of the bars full height so you can compare the relative proportions of them. Relative frequency changes the y-axis here from a frequency through to a proportion so I can see the re relative proportions of each of the bars. Relative width makes it 100% bar graph again but the width of the bars are proportional to the size of the groups. And the other options like invert colors and grayscale are the same as on all of the other graphs. And again, like all of the graphs, you can right click on it and you can either copy the image or save the image to do whatever with it that you need to do.